I, the inspired actor here. Before we begin, please note that these quick take videos are meant to supplement my longer series of 10 minute acting class videos. So if you're new and have no idea what I'm talking about or what archetypal gestures are, I'll put a link to where you can start in the notes. In brief, we are using archetypal gesture in order to place our intentions fully in our body. Practicing with these actions or gestures when making your choices in your scene will help fully connect your psychological action with your physical body, with the goal of being a more dynamic and concentrated use of your abilities on stage and on film. So without further ado, here is today's bonus archetypal gesture of sweep. Sweep. Begin in a neutral stance. Feet shoulder width apart, arms at your side chest open and radiating. On an inhale, twist your body to the right, bringing your arms to the right as well with the palms out. On an exhale, take a step forward with the right foot, fully extending the back foot and bending the front knee. Simultaneously, sweep your arms to the left, keeping them parallel and together. Imagine the object of the gesture is in front of you and you are able to sweep the object aside to your left. While maintaining this position, radiate the feeling of the gesture with your full, concentrated energy. Once you sense the gesture is at an end, return to neutral. Do not rush the ending of the gesture or let it continue after you feel it has concluded. Sweet. And that is sweep. This gesture was taught to me by Professor James Luce many years ago, and I continue to use it to this day. I like this gesture. It is in the push family, but has more of a feeling of finish to it. Like once you're done with the sweep, the object is no longer an obstacle. This is a good gesture for active objectives like putting someone in their place, filing someone away, or of course, sweeping them aside. This is also a great gesture for creating a powerful psychological gesture for a scene or event you are working on in your script. It might be a great one for Lady Macbeth, for example, in the dinner scene with Banquo's ghost. Just a reminder, we are learning all of the archetypal gestures for use as a primary ingredient in a psychological gesture. Once you consciously add a quality to an archetypal gesture, the gesture becomes psychological. So all you have to do is add a quality of flying or molding to this gesture, and you can really use this as a powerful way to activate your imagination and actions towards exciting discoveries in your acting. As always, when doing these gestures and actions, please remember your feeling of ease and your feeling of form. See you later, colleagues.